Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Have you ever wondered how you can protect your ride for the harmful winters? Well, today I'll be taking you step by step how to probably get the maximum protection during these harmful winters. Let's get started. All right guys, so we have a 2017 Ford F-150 in the shop. The paint from far away, it looks great. The shine is there, but one thing that is actually diminishing the look of the vehicle is all the contamination that this paint has. So if I grab my hand and I just glide across the paint, you're gonna hear how much contamination the paint actually has. All of that graspiness that sounds like sand is just contamination embedding itself deeper inside the clear coat. So what ends up happening over time, so much contamination just embeds itself into the clear coat and there's not going to be any type of beating whatsoever. So a lot of people on our social media says they rather see the water drag than seeing beating. And today I'll be clarifying that. You want the complete opposite. So when a water drags on your paint, it's going to attract more dust, more contamination, and it's going to be 10 times harder to dry your ride. While your car is ceramic coated, has a glaze, a sealant, a wax, and it beads on the surface of the vehicle, it's going to be a lot much easier to dry your ride because all the water is being pushed off and it's not embedding itself inside the pores of the paint. But today, to remove this contamination, we're gonna be using a clay bar process, which is going to be considered using the medium duty clay bar and my clay lubricant. So a lot of people also say, can you use soap? We do not recommend using soap. This is why I'll be using a designated lubricant like clay luber. Clay luber is a synthetic lubricant that's going to help me glide my clay bar across the surface of the vehicle without causing scratches or swirls. So I'll put this off to the side for right now. I'll get a little small piece of my clay bar and I'll be giving you guys a 50-50. That's why I have a tape down the middle. So I can show you guys after three hours, once hydrocharge cures, how the hydrophobic properties are compared to a side that has no type of protection whatsoever. So I will put this in a little ball and then I will knead it out into a patty. And by kneading it out into a patty, it's going to allow me to get a three width finger. So whenever I glide across the surface of the vehicle, I get maximum coverage. And I always recommend only keeping a three width finger because like this, you have the most control and a clay bar is very sticky. So now you'll grab your clay lubricant. You'll go to the surface you're working on. You'll spray it onto the surface. I like to be very generous with it. So like this, I avoid clay marring or avoid any dry spots. I will also spray my clay bar and then I will just glide it side to side. So you can hear the contamination being pulled off. And after a couple passes, we always recommend inspecting your clay bar, especially if you're working with a heavy contaminated vehicle because you want to remold and re -neat your clay bar. So like this, you avoid passing the contamination around the whole entire paint. So I'll just do this little small section back side to side. And just to let you guys know, we did wash this truck beforehand. So this is why we just went straight into the clay bar process. So, okay, so I did a couple passes and now check out how much contamination is actually sitting on this paint. So all of that brown is just contamination that has been sitting inside the paint of the vehicle. So how do you actually get rid of it? All you want to do is re -neat the clay bar into a new side. And how do you know when to toss out your clay bar? And the, the way you know when to toss out your clay bar is once you re it and you keep seeing brown, just toss it out, get another piece. This is why I always recommend getting a small portion so you could go back and get more if needed. So just respray it, clay lubricant, glide it, and just pass it side to side. So another fun fact or pro tip for you guys, you could also clay bar your glass. So if you have contamination, you get a lot of streaks, clay bar your glass, use this glass cleaner, and like this, you could also get streak-free glass. So let me just finish clay barring this half of the hood, and I'll get back to you guys when it's time to ceramic coat the hood. All right guys, so we just finished clay barring the surface of the vehicle and the vehicle feels 10 times better. I mean, there's no type of contamination whatsoever. If I grab my glove and pass it across, you cannot hear any more contamination. That is because the clay bar removed all the contamination. So if I actually walk to this side and I grab my hand, contamination, no contamination. So what ends up happening right now, the paint is bare. The paint needs protection. So this is why we're gonna be using hydrocharged ceramic spray coating. Hydrocharge is going to apply 
12 months of protection onto this paint and it's also going to cause an acceleration of water beating. So anytime it encounters rain, fallout, snow, or any harsh winters, the water or anything that lands on it, the contamination is just simply going to glide right off. You could also boost it up in the near future with something that's called like hydro speed. But how do you actually apply hydro charge? It's very simple, it's very easy. Before anything, just shake up the product to mix up the formula, put it onto spray. You'll grab a microfiber applicator, give it a couple of sprays. One, two, three, four. All right, so hydro charge is very easy to work in and a little bit goes a very long way. So whenever you're applying hydro charge, I always recommend applying it in linear motions. And once you're done passing one way, overlap it and follow it the opposite way. So how do you know when to buff it off? That's the next question. And the answer is you can buff it off anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. It all depends where you live. If you live in an area where it's super cold, you will want to let it sit for two minutes. If you live in an area where it's super hot, super humid, let it sit for 30 seconds, get a microfiber towel and buff it right off. So I already went that way. Now I will cross hatch it just so I can make sure I get an even coverage and all of my hydro charge goes inside all the pores of the paint. So like this, anytime contamination lands on it, it's just going to bead right off and it's not going to cause more contamination to etch into the clear coat of this paint. So I'll get a couple more sprays. So I could do this side over here. And right now here in California, it is a little bit more chilly. So this is why I'm letting it sit for two minutes and then I'll buff it off or one to two minutes. So just apply it on like that. Cross hatch it. Now I will get a microfiber towel and buff off the residue of hydro charge. You can see I didn't move on to that side because I always want to work in sections. I am working with a ceramic coating that is going to harden. So this is why I'll be grabbing a microfiber towel, going to the surface and I'll just buff it right off. And hydro charge buff offs with no elbow grease. It's so easy to just remove. Just wipe in one direction. Make sure you remove everything off the surface of the vehicle. Flip over to clean side and just buff off the rest. And then a pro tip we always recommend to do is whenever you apply a ceramic coating like Hydro Charge, we always recommend keeping it out of the elements for at least three hours. And then over time, within 24 hours, the hydrophobic properties are going to enhance even more. So let me just finish coating that side of the hood and then I'll see you guys in three hours where we're actually gonna put this truck outside and we're gonna show you guys the before and after a super hydrophobic side versus a non hydrophobic side that has a lot of contamination. And then once we're done with that, I'll show you guys why it's easy to dry a side that has ceramic coating compared to a side that has drag into it. We'll see you guys in three hours. All right guys, so we just brought the F-150 outside and as you guys can see, it is raining. Mother Nature wants to see the results. So real weather, real results. On this side, you can see that there's a lot of hydrophobic properties compared to that side. So this is what ends up happening when it rains your water, your car comes into contact with a lot of contamination, a lot of water. Beating is going to cause less water spots. There's not gonna be any contamination compared to something where it's dragging. It's going to get more dirt, more contamination. So now it's time to pull the truck back in. So I can show you guys how easy it is to dry a car that is ceramic coated compared to a side where it's not ceramic coated. I'll see you guys inside because it's very windy and it's very wet. All right guys, so now it's time to dry the surface of the vehicle. So I have two dry woolly mammoth towels. So I give it the same treatment on this side compared to that side. You can see on this side, the water is completely beating because the hydrophobic properties that hydrochar produces are amazing. So I'll go to the surface of the vehicle. I will put my towel down and I will just wipe it in one direction. And you can see that the woolly mammoth removed all the water from the surface of the vehicle. The surface is now dry, is no longer wet. So now I will walk back over to that side. This is a towel I used on that side and I'll be giving a designated drying towel to this side. I'll go to this side and since this side does have water dragging, you can see that the water is not being dried off. It still has some type of streaks on the paint. This is why we recommend ceramic coating your ride or protecting it because one, it's going to dry faster and two, it's not going to be hugging or pulling all the contamination into the pores of the paint. So guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. 
If you want to pick up any of these products today that I use in this video from towels, accessories, clay bars, clay lubricants, or any type of chemicals, hop onto our website right now, chemicalguys.com, or stop by your local detail garage. It's a store that is filled with all Chemical Guys goodies. You can find every single Chemical Guys product on the shelf. As always, happy holidays, and thank you for sharing your passion and shine with Chemical Guys. Mm -hmm.